and welcome back everybody today I want to show you this really cool telephone that I got back in 2016 from Peru I uh, got it on eBay uh, it was just a surprise thing thinking it was probably another uh, art thing telephone from Argentina but one thing that stuck out to me was in the pictures plungers they had a picture of the, the handset off the hook and it had these type of plungers on it. Just the fact that they're concave and not um, like the other ones on other telephones of this design is what made me want to buy it because I had never seen it before. So this was definitely not made in Argentina or Spain, but in uh, the country of Peru, made by a company called Fetza. And... I don't know any history of FETSA, but the telephone system that it was used for, or used on, I'm sorry, was CPTSA, CPTSA, uh, which stands for Compañía Peruana de Telefonos. Um, basically, the telephone company of Peru started in the 25th of June in the year 1920. There was no number card in this phone originally. I had to do some long searching to figure out what the number cards look like and this is basically what the number cards look like on this on these particular telephones uh, of this year. Uh, this was their logo so for CPTSA and I guess their emergency number was 115 and of course I didn't use the right font but I kept it as close as I could dial is made by uh, Fachi standard or face standard so it's a it's one of those quiet dials but this one is from 1973 here's a look at the handset both the transmitter or yes the transmitter is made in Brazil Industria Brasileira and the hand, uh, the receiver didn't have any markings that indicate what company it was made by or what country it was made in. But I'm assuming it was made in the same place. There are some parts in the network that were made in Brazil as well. Uh, I think the ringer was definitely made in Peru as well. The housing was made in Brazil, uh, um, plastic housing made by a company called Implas, I-M-P-L-A-S, and that, is, that was a plastics company in Brazil. So we got basically parts from Brazil and some parts from Peru. Here's a look at the bottom. Definitely different from other telephones that were used to seeing. The feet are interestingly big, they're tall, and the phone sits pretty tall on the table as well so of course behind those vents is the ringer and that's the adjuster a lever and two spots where a sticker or two used to be those stickers would the would say um cptsa as well as producto peruano peruvian product the big one would say CPTSA and the small one would say Producto Peruano. So that's interesting. And also, there's one Phillips screw and one flathead screw holding the housing together. It's got black cords for the handset and the line cord. As of now, I have a four-prong plug used to uh, test it Make sure it's working I don't have any knowledge of the history of FETSA or of any of the other components in this telephone or um, of this telephone itself I don't even know what year this particular model came out I'm assuming 1970s um, they obviously had other type of telephones in Peru this was one of them we're going to do a test of the dial. Let's go ahead and pick up the handset. I'll give you dial tone. Let's 
going to make sure we had to. So I'm going to dial a few numbers here to show you that's basically registering. In with that seven there. Lucky number. So let's go ahead and uh, show you that it's ringing. The bells sound a bit like a Model 500, so I'll show you. Let me get my foot over there. And pick up on the third. any of you have any knowledge of telephones of uh, Peru, please feel free to comment on this video. Um, I am so interested in telephones of South America, and I am very eager to learn more history on the telephones of South America. So I hope you enjoyed this neat telephone from Peru from the year 1973, made by um, at least I would say FETSA in Peru. And thanks for watching. More videos will be coming soon.